David Strunk from United Talent Agency, and thank you for joining us on uh, Pershing Square Green Room interviews. Good to see you. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me here. It's such an honor. I've worked with you for a decade, and it's always a privilege to get to work with you and, you know, the parks and Pershing Square. So well, thank you for inviting me. Oh, thank, thanks so much. We have, you know, a couple of things we want to talk about because being an agent is so, uh, so interesting to so many people. And people always say like, how do you, how do you become an agent? What, what is an agent? Because the big story, of course, is I started in the mail room. So is that true? Does, do all agents start in the mail room? Well, I didn't, but the long story short is you got to get your foot in the door somehow. When I was in college, I interned, uh, I did all of the college opportunities that got me the opportunity to, you know, end up at an agency. I booked shows at my college. I was the music director of a radio sh uh, station. Then as an intern, I was interning at a company called the Agency Group that was later acquired by United Talent Agency, where I work now. We work and, with you there. Yeah, and I, I, I was an intern for a long time. Things are a little bit different now, but I interned for over a year. And then when a desk opened, right after I graduated college, I had the opportunity to, to land a desk right away a few months after I graduated. And then I was just off to the races. But that, that's how I would recommend it to pretty much anyone. They got to get their foot in the door. If it's a mail room opportunity or it's an internship or booking shows at their school, they, you have to find a way to insert yourself in the entertainment business. At these agencies, this always is, eludes me because when I'm looking up an artist and it's like, okay, I, I want to book this artist. And it's like, you have so many agents uh, at an agency. How, how does that work? There's always a responsible agent, right? Um, how it starts is you, you find, it always starts with the music. You find a band or you have a relationship with an artist or what, when you start working, there's, there's not a delegation of acts to agents. Any specific agent that believes in an artist can represent that artist and ultimately that'll become the responsible agent and that person's responsible for helping build the major career trajectory for the for the client within the agency. TA and a lot of agencies do work in teams and you know for acts that I represent specifically that I'm the responsible agent for I'll be the quarterback I'll design the plan I'll work with the band and the rest of their outside teams like their manager their business manager their lawyer to help build their long-term plan but then that is supplemented internally with specialists you know we have a fair division we have a festival division we have people that do service clubs and theaters as specialists but there's always a responsible agent someone that talks to the band every day and you know that that person's relationship is just expanded with other people at the agency when you say you're like the responsible agent so um does that mean you've signed the act? And how, how do you go about signing an act? I mean, are you out at clubs and at venues and places like that, checking out new music a lot? All the time, two or three times a week for sure. But there's a lot of different ways. You can have a relationship with the manager. You can have a relationship with the business manager. There are, you know, the music industry is a vast array of different business professions. And you can have a relationship with any of those people, or, you know, you can just find the music even online or through different social media sites, or you can see the band. I mean, however you find an artist as a fan, agents find artists the exact same way, you know, from friends, other colleagues, and, and through that, we go on, on the hunt. For me specifically, whenever I sign an act, I need to believe I can service their career. I sit down with them and I build boundaries and expectations and before I sign them, I ensure that I can help bring them to the level that they want to be, you know? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, if you want to sell out the Staples Center, we sit down and we plot how we can do that within UTA. Building a career is a lifetime thing. That's why it's a career, not just a tour, you know? And we try and service bands. We do the best we can to meet the expectations and grow bands and service them to meet whatever their dreams can be and, and find bands and flesh out dreams that they don't know they have yet. It's not always that a band knows what they want, but that's why they have representation, right? We help them get to their maximum potential. From working with you, like you said, for like 10, maybe maybe more years, I find that so many things are, are more important once you take a band under your, your wing, so to speak. Like there are a lot of times I've said, 
um, hey, Dave, I want, you know, this band and what's, what's their going rate? And then I say, well, I can pay this rate and we negotiate, but it's really even more than just the money. I mean, so much has to do with um, venue production and what type of audio system you have and being able to do riders, um, being able to match the riders that the artist needs. And a lot of people don't understand why that's so important. Can you tell us? Well, everything goes back to what I was just saying about like the bigger plan, right? Like our, our job is to help a band grow and build their career forever, right? When, when I sign an artist, my expectation to them and their expectation to me is that we're going to be in a relationship for the long haul and we're going to try and help them make this their life and bring their music to their fans you know forever and help them find new fans and grow that fan base because i believe in them their message and their vision right now there's a lot that goes into that in terms of booking a show just simple transactional stuff like you said like we have to make sure that the stage sound and lighting works and it's the right stage sound and lighting to meet their expectations and to meet the audience's expectations. Mm -hmm. When any band I work with goes out and starts playing, it's got to sound right. It's going to sound good. And it has to meet and sound good for them and the audience. We're, we're creating an experience for fans and we can't let that be qualified in any way. Aside that, there's aesthetics too, right? Like bands have certain identities that they associate with and really uh, an artist is a brand identity fans see their name and associate that name with an image a look a likeness a style and it's our job as an agent to help them reach and grow that image or the image that their fans choose for them coachella has a specific look Pershing square has a specific look you know a metal festival has a specific look and if you're a metal band, you should be playing metal festivals. And it's our job to make sure we're putting the right bands in the right venues where the right fans associate with those bands so that we can help grow their career, you know? So there, yeah. there's, there's a fine line between art and commerce here. Um, you know, one other thing to note on this is, you know, we work at the artist representation business, and this kind of ties into what you were saying, not just the concert business, right? So my job as an agent is to represent their brand identity, not just their concert booking. So whenever I book a concert, I need to make sure it falls in, in line with that brand identity and, and how they're growing. Everyone wants to have the best show, you know? And what, once, once we know that it falls within the plan, you know, that it works for both of us, the promoter and the, the artist, then we just have to hammer out the small stuff. So, how are you keeping busy right now? I mean, what are agents doing now? It's a really good question, right? But the answer, I kind of alluded to it earlier. We work in the artist representation business. We don't work in the concert business exclusively. Meaning that I represent, say, X. And when I represent X, or if I represent, so UTA represents Offset. UTA represents Common. And Common just had a, a digital bumble date with Tiffany. Haddish and we helped set that up. Offset just did uh, a VR campaign with an Oculus with Facebook. We had Cascade perform at the Grand Canyon. We're doing live digital shows. We had some with Sublime with Rome. Tons and tons and tons of things. Chance the Rapper, we helped set up Chance's initiative with uh, Box for Tops and he gave back and helped raise $300,000 for teachers across the country in his Twilight Awards. You know, we're, but I helped an artist put together a graphic novel and I have artists putting together movies and biopics. Yeah, we have the opportunity to have all of these specialty divisions. I kind of referenced this earlier within booking, but uh, we have a branding division. We have an endorsements division. We have, you know, sp speaking. Uh, I, I could go on and on. We, we just started an innovations division specifically to handle situations and grow the company with divisions that are unyet realized, which right now we're focusing a lot on live streaming and the next steps, which I think are going to exist beyond uh, COVID. But yeah, ultimately we represent artists. We don't represent live booking. So we do all that stuff across platform, all that stuff. We have actors, you know, we have TV, film, lit, digital, I can go on and on, dozens and dozens and dozens 
you know, athletes uh, of divisions that all work together. It's been a lot of fun, Dave. We should just do this like all the time because we never get to see each other enough. Do you want to do it again tomorrow? Uh, now. I'm happy to do it again tomorrow. Give me seven more questions. Okay. Maybe we'll do <laughs> it again. Thank you for inviting day. me. This Thank you, Dave. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming to the green room.